Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to make this simple tension spring in SOLIDWORKS with the help of few features command. Here you will learn how to create project curve and composite curve. So let's see how to make this simple spring in SOLIDWORKS with the help of some curves command. Now let's open file new and choose here part. Okay. Now this is the SOLIDWORKS interface. You can change background anything you you like to keep. First we will create outer edge of spring. So uh, we need to use here uh, some commands here. Uh, let's I'll show you how. So first we will create a base side flange. So here I'll start with top plane sketch and let me choose here three point arc exit now let's make some important relation vertical horizontal now choose this point and origin also in one line so horizontal let's try to give dimension keep radius 30 millimeter and the center distance 30 millimeter see this is we made in top plane so simply exit now the next thing we will make in right plane A sketch take the normal view Again, we will create the same pattern here. From here to a letter, we will connect. Exit. Now, just find out the center point. First, do one thing make in proper shape. that's it define radius 30 millimeter and the very important thing center point so select origin and this point coincident see our drawing is fully defined no need to keep any other relation exit see now we will use project curve and create a project now sketch on sketch this two sketch we will be selected here sketch one and two and you will see a preview this project we like to keep okay isometric view now let me choose right plane plane and select this end point of this curve here we want to create a plane okay now choose this plane a sketch circle and let me draw one circle at from origin point if you want to see pre a smart dimension and keep the diameter 60 millimeter isometric view exit let me hide this plane and I'll choose here go to feature we want to create path for spring so let me choose helix and spiral let me choose this one now we already practice so here it shows height and pitch constant height keep 97 pitch 9.7 millimeter direction z angle 0 and clockwise direction okay now you will see how this is connected here so this is now in the same way we have to make in this side select top plane again a sketch normal and now here we will make our geometry so let me choose three point arc and I'll draw the same thing but in reverse direction what we will do let me select this two point horizontal this two points vertical now select this end point and hold shift key and select
actually we need to select this let's define it thirty millimeter and uh, I'll show you the distance from here to here two one seven or two one seven minus thirty and select origin point and this point horizontal now see this is fully defined it is exactly going to meet at this point exit now see right plane a sketch normal view and let me again create three point arc let's define these two points and the diameter we will keep same third uh, radius 30 millimeter now choose center point and origin point and make relation coincident see this shifted here so this is fully defined exit now it's time to create a project curve so here we have two curves project curve now this one selected let me choose this one now you will see preview here how is going to create here okay that's it now let's make the remaining thing now front plane a sketch normal let me choose here line center line exit draw two more lines select both the lines and make define 217 millimeter 30 millimeter okay now here select center point arc start from here to somewhere like this curve we are going to create for extension of a spring now select this line and this curve and make relation tangent that's it select this point hold shift key and select this arc and here we need to create relation peers see this is fully defined but only the last thing angle we will keep the angle 60 degree that's it drawing is fully defined even if not so you can directly select if it shows under defined select fully defined sketch calculate everything is defined nothing is balanced to define so simply exit see now again choose the same plane front plane sketch now this time we will create here so let me draw one line and let's keep this distance 30 millimeter now here choose the same three point not three point center point arc start from let's say from here to end here 
first choose this arc hold shift key and this point and make relation pairs that's finished this line and this arc tangent relation okay that's also finished and the balance thing ang angle finished okay now this is also fully defined sketch exit now here we have too many sketches so we need to combine and make one sketch or one curve so here we have one command com composite curve now here join first this is second this spring is third one if not then you can simply select from here then curve to sketch or select this one now all the sketch and everything is selected okay now see here we made one so now it's it is ready for the extrusion but we will uh, create one path and uh, circular body plane i'll choose this edge and this point here we selected too many things plane and this point select this arc and this point okay now here we will create a sketch a sketch circle and let's draw here a circle and keep diameter 9 mm we took 9 you can take anything 9 actually fits for this body now select this origin point and this center point or let me choose piers actually we selected too many thing ah uh, okay that's uh, fi fixed to the origin point exit now you can go to feature swift boss base command see sketch selected just select this curve if you are not able to select you can directly choose composite curve from here and you will see the preview no need to keep any changes okay so this is how we simply created a tension spring in solid works with the help of different commands and we love how to create project curve and composite curve here it takes time because uh, always this kinds of calculation takes time if your computer is slow it will take more time that's it now simply just hide this composite curve hide the plane and this is our spring is ready see this is tension spring even we can change material bronze looks better option actually this is a chrome steel but we choose here bronze color so it looks more visible so i hope you like it don't forget to share like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks and inventor thanks for watching